these are some of the things that every single one of my successful traders utilize every single day. And I have traders that are, <clears throat> that are making anywhere between $200 a day on average to $2,000 a day on average, and some <clears throat> doing as much as $8,000, $12,000 in a day. All right, so all different levels, but all of them, whether they're making $200 a day or, or have a $20,000 day, they're all utilizing what I'm about to share with you today. All right, so let's get started. All right, the basics, all right? We're gonna look at the main bars that I want my traders to be able to identify and play. Now, the first type of bars is what I call elephant bars. Elephant bars are long, elongated bars that can be to the upside, a big, giant, fat green bar to the upside, or a big, giant, fat, solid red bar to the downside. Now, an elephant bar is significant because it is taller, fatter, and longer than most of the bars on a specific chart. It's taller as if, um, if, as an example, if most of your bars are this size, then this would be an elephant bar because it is substantially, it's substantially larger, longer, and more significant than the bars to the left of it. This makes it a, what I call a bull elephant bar. Now a bull elephant bar is shooting its power to the upside. A bear elephant bar is just the opposite. It is shooting its power to the downside. So bull elephant bars suggest higher prices to come. Bear elephant bars suggest lower prices to come. So when you identify a stock that is producing an elephant bar right before your eyes, the general assumption is that there are going to be a number of additional green bars that follow this elephant bar. If you identify a red elephant bar that is happening right before your eyes, the general assumption is that there are going to be additional red bars that follow this elephant bar to the downside. Very important to understand. So we have bull green elephant bars and bear red elephant bars. Red elephant bars suggest downward prices to come. Green elephant bars suggest additional green bars to come. Now, I want to, let's take a look at Twitter. And I want you to understand that what you're looking at is a two minute chart of Twitter's stock, which means that every individual bar represents two minutes of trading, right? So you have green two minute bars, all right? And you have red two minute bars, but every single bar represents two minutes of trading. So as an example, we've got two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, you get it. Two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 14 minutes, 16 minutes, you get it, all right? So every bar represents two minutes of trading. Now, I want you to identify in the middle of Twitter's chart, in the middle of the chart, all right? in more or less the middle, I want you to identify the green elephant bar. Do you see it? Can you immediately spot this fat, long green bar that's taller and longer and more powerful, more significant than most of the bars to the left? Can you see it? It's not exactly in the middle, it's almost in the middle. All right, that's right, it's right here. Boom, elephant bar. Now, once you see an elephant bar forming, the general assumption is that from this elephant bar, power to the upside should follow, okay? 
power to the upside should follow elephant bars. Now, there are two ways that I want my traders getting into elephant bars. I want them, if they see the elephant bar forming right before their eyes, I want them to jump into the elephant bar. I want them to buy the elephant bar in the last few seconds of the two minute bar. So if it's one minute and let's say 50 seconds, there's 10 seconds left, and then this two minute bar is complete, they're gonna buy it just before it completes, boom! And they're in this bar. Now, let's say they don't see the bar, they see the bar after it's finished. In that case, the second way they're gonna buy this is they're gonna buy the next bar after the elephant bar, but the next bar must clear the high of the elephant bar. So there are two ways to get in. You get in on the elephant bar, boom, or you get in one penny above the elephant bar, boom. Now, let me tell you this. You have a $50,000 account. What you're supposed to do is take 25,000. You're going to take one half of the account, okay? And you're going to buy the elephant bar in the elephant bar, or you're going to put the $25,000 into the next bar above the high of the elephant bar. You're going to take half of the money that you have, and you're going to pile into the stock in either of these locations. I need you to understand that. Your first buy is with half of the account, $25,000. Now, I wanna tell you that just in case we don't get the follow through that we're looking for and the stock reverses on us, we're gonna put our protection one penny below the elephant bar. So please understand this. You're gonna take $25,000. That's gonna work. You're gonna take $25,000. Boom, you're gonna buy the elephant bar or boom, buy the bar next to it, whichever one you get. All right, they're both correct. Once your $25,000 is in the stock, your protective stop is one penny under the bar you're playing. We're playing an elephant bar. We don't want the market to take away the elephant bar. If it does, we immediately kill the trade, all right? But as long as the stock stays above this stop level, it's fine. Even if it dips below a little bit, as long as it doesn't trigger, we keep the play. And this is how we play elephant bars. We're looking for a solid green bar. I want you to note the bar size. Look at the average bar size to the left. This bar is clearly towering above the vast majority of bars to the left. If we take a look at, here's another elephant bar, but it's the first one we're trying to capture. Here's another elephant bar. And here's another elephant bar. But the first one is the one we want, okay? Now, let me explain to you what I mean by the first one. You can have a follow through elephant bar. So this is the first one, and then you can have another one. Well, we want the first elephant bar. How do we know it's the first one? Well, there's nothing strong to the left of it. That means it's the first one. See, there's nothing powerful to the left meaning this elephant bar is the first one. This elephant bar 
has another powerful bar to the left of it, making it not the first one, okay? This elephant bar is the first one. There's no strong bar before it. This elephant bar is the second one. It's not the first one because to the left of it, there is something powerful, okay? Now note that this is an elephant bar as well. If you bought this elephant bar and put your protective stop there, this one didn't work. And there's a reason it didn't work, which I am going to teach you as we move forward. But this is the main one I wanted to point out. This is the elephant bar you buy into the bar in the last 10 seconds or so of the two minute bar. So you're watching this bar move, watching it grow before your eyes and you see, okay, it's one minute. Okay. It's one minute, 30 seconds. Okay. It's one minute, 45 seconds, one minute, 50 seconds. Boom. $25,000 in protect yourself. And so with this protective mechanism, we're always putting the protection under what we're buying. You're only going to risk one bar, but when you win, you're going to win many bars. Every time you lose, you're going to lose only one bar. But when you win, you might win one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might win 10 bars. You might win 20 bars. You might win eight bars. You might win four bars. But every single time you lose, you will only lose one bar. And this is how you stay in this business forever by limiting your losses to one bar and having your wins be multiple bars. This is one of the most important things I need you to understand. You are not going to lose more than one bar on a chart, but you're going to win many bars. I hope I made myself clear. If you have any questions whatsoever, just jot them below. I will try to answer every single one. If you like this brief little talk on a tiny little subject, which I plan to do more frequently here, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe by clicking the bell in the upper left hand corner. And once again, leave a comment. Let's help the algorithm. And let's help this message get out to as many people as possible. So next time traders trade well. Ciao for now. Boom.